Hey, it's Alex, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about a topic you're probably already familiar with, the Apple Watch. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new content, uh, like this video, comment on it. it, really helps out the channel, helps me grow, so thank you. It's not the iWatch, I've said it before in videos past, the Apple Watch, um, Apple is naming things with Apple going forward, not I, because they can't trademark the I. It's, it's Apple Watch. This video is not sponsored by Apple. I'm not even gonna try to recommend which watch that you buy. I just simply wanna talk about the concept of an Apple Watch, a smart watch. Why does it exist? What does it do? What's the point? Who are they trying to sell it to? Um, answer some of these questions that I had when I first learned about it. So the Apple Watch was not my first smartwatch by far. I jumped on this bandwagon early when Samsung released their Galaxy Gear. I think it was the S2 watch. That was one of the first ones I got. At first I had like a cheap Chinese knockoff smartwatch. I've had Galaxy, I've had the Pebble smartwatches, which were honestly some of my favorite. They were just so simple and the battery life was amazing. Um, I've had Fitbits, I've had several Apple watches. And in the end, I always return to the Apple Watch. I think they've done it really well. Smartwatch technology in its infancy when it first started around 2014, I think is when I first got my smartwatches and they were like the Chinese uh, $40 knockoffs and they were not that great. At its infancy, it was pretty bad. The watches were huge and bulky, chunky, uh, very uncomfortable. Battery life was terrible. They weren't super reliable. They they were just not great all around devices. And then, you know, Samsung stepped in and they did a great job with their watch. I had the one that curved around your, your wrist a little bit, the, the Gear S2, I believe is what it was. And they did a great job as far as fitness goes and tethering it and tying it to your phone. That was really the first leap forward is in a smartwatch technology. But in typical Apple fashion, in a market that's so oversaturated with all these smartwatches and it's in its infancy, there weren't any real great leaders yet, aside from Pebble, which did a really good job with like an e-ink display, meaning it wasn't necessarily a screen. It was like a Kindle on your wrist with buttons and not a touchscreen. I actually really liked that design. I thought it was pretty neat. In typical Apple fashion, Apple waits till everybody's, you know, just putting out their own products and then they say, we're going to make our own smartwatch and it's gonna blow the competition away. And it really did, after a while it did, at least in the first year or two, just like anything else, I had the first few Apple Watches and they were great at first. As soon as you started putting more software updates into them, they got very slow, very clunky, very laggy. They, they were just extremely slow devices after like a year of use. So just like everybody else, Apple had their own issues with developing their watches, but from a purely aesthetic design standpoint and the way it integrates with your phone, it honestly beat out all competition. You know, from like, you put it on your wrist and then your phone knows that it's on your wrist. So when you get a text message, it'll buzz your wrist and not your phone. When you get a phone call, it'll buzz your wrist, not your phone, you know, and then you take it off, your phone knows that it's off your wrist and then it'll buzz your phone. Just little things like that, that really tied it together and just, they went all Apple on it. And it, it did a really, really good job in my opinion. And I really enjoyed it. So then fast forward to modern day. Now we have lots of smartwatches. There's all kinds of Fitbits, there's Samsung. Um, obviously Apple Watch is still around and doing very well. It's actually the best selling watch in the world, believe it or not. The technology is matured enough to become very usable. But still, what's the point? Why get a smartwatch? Specifically, why even get an Apple Watch? Well, it's not designed to replace your phone. Apple products, if you haven't noticed this already, they're designed to butt up very closely against each other, but not replace each other. And so a good example would be, you have an iPhone, you have a MacBook, a computer. What's in between those? An iPad, right? An iPad does some things that an iPhone does, it does some things that a MacBook does, and it does some things on its own. They're very closely butted up against each other, almost to the point where you ask, is it even worth it for me to buy this thing? And then you do, and then you realize, oh my gosh, how do I live without this thing? Basically, that's, that's the way their products are designed. So the Apple Watch is on the other side of the iPhone. It does some things that an iPhone does and some things that it doesn't. So similarly, how you can put like a, a SIM card in this and just leave your phone at home and then you can still get your text messages and your phone calls and everything like that can replace your iPhone. It doesn't do it as well. You're not gonna scroll Facebook on it. It's meant to complement it, right? It's a device that lets you log activity, your health, your well-being, your sleep to get phone calls and text messages. 
I mentioned in videos past that I'll usually just leave my phone laying around and I'll lose it because I know that I'm not gonna miss a beat. I'm not gonna miss anything important. I'm gonna get a message, I'm gonna get a phone call, uh, an email if it comes through. And if I lose my phone, I can you know ping it from this and it'll like ring in the other room. Just all these little quirks that make it so nice and then mentally you just don't feel tied down to your phone. Like, like I said, I leave my phone just laying around the house or you know I'll forget where it is because I don't feel like I have to always have it in my pocket or on my hand because I'm gonna miss something. You know, I'm, I'm still connected, but I'm free. I'm hands-free <laughs> is what it comes down to. So going back to our initial question, what's the point of an Apple Watch? I think it really comes down to convenience. It's the kind of thing that, at least for me, I was very curious when it came out. So I, I, I got it, I tried it, and then I soon realized this is one of those things that I don't know how I lived without. Just like a smartphone in the beginning, you know, when smartphones were first coming out, people bought them and then realized how much they had use for them. The watch is kind of the same way. It's that it's that convenience factor that you didn't know you needed, but once you have it, it really complements your phone well and just kind of really gives you a, a different uh, digital, a different perspective on your digital life. You know, you can leave your phone behind. You don't have to carry it around. You can have your activity tracking, your calendar, your weather. You know, 99% of the time, this is how I check the weather forecast. This is how I can check news if it comes up. This is how I check my calendar. Just everything is right there and it's just so convenient and that's really the biggest reason why to get an Apple Watch. But that's really it for this video. Not really a product recommendation or anything, just simply talking conceptually about the Apple Watch and anybody that has one knows exactly what I'm talking about when I say you don't know what you're missing until you have it and then you don't realize how you lived without it. So, uh, And for some people that may not be the case, but at least for me and a few people that I know, that's definitely the case. So um, if you're interested, I highly recommend checking them out, getting, uh, you know, picking one up, buy a used one, see if it works for you. And uh, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.